Hey, Mike, Mike, give me one second here to get our stream back up. Just one second. We got a little bit of a debris ball forming on radar as well. Uh, you folks in Tacoma, this is uh, this is serious. Uh, the pictures are definitely awe-inspiring. There's no doubt about it. But this is serious because it is headed to Red Line directly for Tacoma right now, and it's about 17 miles southwest of Tacoma. Uh, control room. When you get uh, Bob Moore Chopper Four back in, just feel free to take it. Crossing, it's just crossing the river right now, and it's also heading directly for Cherokee. This is the southern edge of an outbreak, uh, which with over 50, 55 tornadoes from northern Oklahoma into Kansas and Nebraska today. And this is the southern storm so far, uh, and it's got a decent-sized quarter-mile-wide tornado right now. It is crossing the river southwest of Tacoma. It is heading directly for Tacoma. And then from there, it's heading directly for Cherokee. So you folks in Tacoma and Cherokee, you want to be below ground or just flat get out of the way. The big hail is coming into Tacoma right now. Probably has baseballs in it, maybe even bigger than that. There's a lot of instability today. So baseballs, potentially softball size hail. And there's an EF2 tornado back there on the backside uh, that is still on the ground. It just crossed the river from John Welsh and Bob Moore Chopper 4. And then from there, it's going to head right up to Cherokee. So you folks in Cherokee, you are under a tornado warning with Alfalfa County. And you need to also be thinking about where you can go to be safe. Uh, the Cherokee area, we're talking about uh, uh, 755 or so, maybe a little bit before. 755, maybe 745, 755 uh, Cherokee. Uh, so if you have a next door neighbor that's got a storm cellar or basement, you don't have one, you got to start thinking about that. You may need to be going there. Or if you don't have any place you feel safe, you may need to go get out of the way of it because it could be a could be a violent multi-vortex tornado that heads up your way. It is still on the ground now, crossing the river. And uh, let's go back to David Payne here live with an update. Dave, what do you got? Okay, Mike, it has strengthened again. Uh, now I've got a uh, very substantial elephant trunk tornado. It looks like a big elephant trunk, but it's a wide elephant trunk. Uh, a lot wider than what we had earlier. Um, and it definitely, it's all the way to the ground now. Condensation again, back on the ground. Going to be an, uh, an EF1, EF2, probably about uh, it's not as wide as it was. Uh, it's less than an eighth of a mile wide now. It's becoming a little more ragged, a little ragged here in the last minute or so. Uh, but now it's it's been on the ground. Our stream's up now. It's been on the ground for what uh, six or seven minutes now at at at, at this strength. So uh, uh, you know I don't I don't know what it hit in the valley north of us. We can't get there. There's no road just north of the highway. But it's. Uh, it was definitely going through some stuff. There was debris in the air. I couldn't tell if it was trees or, or any kind of an outbuilding or homes or whatever. I can't tell from this far away, but I know there was debris in the air. So um, it's still on the ground, Mike. I'm behind a mesa right now. I'm going to pop back out, and we'll get a closer look at it. We're headed eastbound, Mike. We're going to have to go pretty far east and then back north to avoid the river. You know what I'm talking about. But we can see it the whole way, so we're going to keep moving east. Mike, oh, yeah, there it is. Okay, still still on the ground, Mike. No doubt about it. Mike, we got two cones now. Looks like we're trying to we're trying to go with two cones, one cone for sure, all the way on the ground, and the second cone about halfway to the ground. So this thing is uh, really putting on quite a show up here, up in uh, northwestern Oklahoma. Truly really amazing. Mike, back to you. Debris ball on radar. Let's go to Chopper Four here live. Roping out. This is live from Bob Moore Chopper Four. That's roping out now. Let's get an update here with John Welsh. Uh, go, John. Yeah, it's cycling. The, the tornado, the mesocyclone is cycling. It's a, a, the, it's a violent mesocyclone. So you've got one cone there. That's a tornado. you got another one here. That's a tornado. Again, John's out there. Pretty decent range away from Oklahoma City, so that's why the picture's kind of coming in and out here from time to time. But the mesocyclone is violent, and there's been all sorts of changes in the tornado size and shape and intensity at a very high rate of speed. And these are the type of tornadoes that can develop into those long track violent tornadoes. Let's go to the storm tracker, show you where it is right now. We've had a debris ball on radar, still heading directly for Tacoma. So you folks in Tacoma, your time is now, your window of safety is now closing. And you've got to either get below ground or get out of the way, storm cellar or basement. It is heading right toward Tacoma and right toward Cherokee. Red center line, Tacoma and Cherokee, Woods County and Alfalfa County. Tacoma coming up here in about 10 minutes. Let's go to David Payne here. Begin one. Mike? There you go. Go ahead. Go ahead, Dave. 
Okay, Mike, it's off the ground. What you're looking at behind it, there, there's a gas well or something that was hit by lightning or could have been hit by the tornado. There's a big fire going on, big black smoke that's coming at the wind blowing from the west on the west side of the tornado. So this is being lifted up to yeah. the updraft. Yeah, there's but, the fire. Here's the tornado over here. Go ahead, Dave. Okay, but the, the, the tornado now, to me, I, it's gone. It, it's gone. It, it lifted. It, it did. It, it dissipated in about 10 seconds, about 30 seconds ago. I did not see a cone hanging down, and I don't see any debris on the ground. But that fire is being pulled in, obviously, where the tornado was. But it doesn't mean it won't obviously cycle. We'll probably do this again here in just a little bit longer. But, um, wow, what a show, Mike. But, again, right now the tornado has lifted. It's no longer on the ground, but you can see all that smoke being pulled into the updraft on the, on the backside of being pulled in where the winds are blowing into the, where the tornado was. So, wow. But right now, all Mike, right. again, it's, it's not on the ground. Mike, yeah. back to you. They were looking at a little needle here. Uh, it probably could possibly still be on the ground. It's very close little rapid needle there that's still the tornado and you see the needle there and that's rapidly spinning about halfway down to the ground can we talk to can we talk to john welsh here live uh, that may still be intermittently in contact with the ground and this is southwest of tacoma uh john are you there can you hear me yeah i, I can got you go ahead hey, Ed, we got a great vantage point here from the bottom or top or forward uh david was talking about earlier that smoke um you know it's just to the southeast of the uh, southwest of the storm and it's still rising. Uh, we'll pan the camera back towards the, uh, towards the east and northeast there. And uh, everything is pretty much lifted. It looks like it's starting to recycle again. Uh, we're headed towards the end to get some fuel, but we're going to keep this as long as we can. Uh, but again, we do, still do have that smoke, and it's rising. And you can kind of see as it, uh, as it rises up, it's actually turning uh, as well. And if, we, if you can let's see, go just to the right. All right, Bob Boer, Chopper 4 there. Let's go back to David Payne. Uh, yeah. David, we're looking. Your stream is good here. We see the fire. There's the fire right there. David, what we're looking at here.